Okay, so if you guys are following the channel for any length of time, you guys know that I did a build on the P365XL. I went with the Sharp Bro Sharps Brother grip module, and I went with the Zafari Precision slide and barrel. And when I took this thing to the range and used it, I had a serious problem with the thing slagged up. The porting on it and the barrel looked like trash. Um, I thought I was going to have to send it back. Ended up wire wheeling it. It was just the slag from these molly coated bullets. I kind of proved the theory. I came back up with a couple jacketed ones, and I, I kind of thought that it was going to be okay. But I really never ran a lot of copper bullets after I shot the molly coated bullets to see if there really was a huge difference or not. And I also had my stream light broke and fell off. The screw on the stream light sheared completely off and fell off. So I want to run the new screw that I got on there, make sure that the light holds up on there, make sure this gun is, you know, good for carry again. So we're going to head over to the range. I'm going to probably run a couple hundred rounds through it just so I make sure that the light stays on there. That screw doesn't ever break again. And we're going to check the barrel to make sure that, you know, the barrel's not slagging up like I did with those molly coated bullets. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to, but I just want to prove the theory and run a good amount of bullets through it. So we could definitely get a definitive answer. So we're going to hop over there. I'm not going to bore you with all of it, but we're going to run a couple of mags. I'll throw that footage in and then we'll talk about it. Man, you just can't beat this thing. The Sharps Brother grip module and the porting on this, fantastic. Just shooting really well. All right, so as you can see, it's got some carbon on there, but nothing like it was running those molly coated bullets. This is a night and day difference. This should wipe right off. All right, so as you can see here, I just wiped that with my finger, and the copper plated bullets are definitely the way to go. Okay, so I don't think I need to waste any more lead. Um, this thing's dialed in, the Hollison spot on. Again, this porting on here. Just keeping that recoil down to next to nothing. Um, the stream light did hold up. It's not loose at all. The screw didn't snap on this one. So hopefully it was just a weak screw. And uh, we're good there. So yeah, I'm happy. Won't be using these molly coated bolts anymore in the ported gun. Sticking with my tried and true copper plated. So moving forward, we stick with that. And uh, yeah, just uh, really good overall. Good experience with this whole setup. Okay, so as you guys saw there, once I ran my finger across it, it was right back down to the chrome on that Safari Precision barrel. It looked great. So I'm assuming once I get it home and I hit it with my cleaner and my wire brush or my plastic brush even, that'll come right off. So it was 100% the molly coated bullets. Now I can defini definitively say that it was the molly coated bullets, which I never reloaded or ran before. That was the first time. So won't be using those going forward. I've always used extreme copper jacketed bullets, and that's what I'm sticking with uh, going forward. So it definitely was the molly coated bullets. The stream light held up, 200 rounds. It, it's rock solid on there nothing so maybe that screw from the original one from the factory was just weak and it snapped but the one that's on there is good so this will go back into carry rotation for sure all right you guys got any questions or comments leave them down below it's going to wrap it up for this video and we'll see you guys in the next one